Alienware almost did it. With the all new M18, a totally ridiculous beast of a laptop, they came this close to put together the perfect desktop replacement. Why this one comes in at almost 4kg and this is really pushing the concept of a mobile PC, if you travel from point A to point B but keep your machine stationary and plugged in, it delivers an uncompromising big screen notebook experience for both work and play. Unfortunately there are some missed opportunities here and there, but let me tell you all about it right after the intro. Let us start right at the beginning. In typical Dell or Alienware fashion, the Alienware M18 can be configured with a variety of CPU and GPU options. And we have been able to test the high-end model with both available screen variants. While the smaller M16 is also available with AMD CPUs, the big boy comes exclusively with Team Blue Silicon and our sample has Intel's i9-13980HX beating at its heart. On the GPU side of things, we got an RTX 4090 running at 175 watts, 32 gigs of DDR5 4800 RAM and a 1TB SSD. In the display department you have the choice between a full HD panel refreshing at an insane 480Hz or a QHD variant bringing it down to a more reasonable 165Hz. So I already told you guys this one is heavy and I really mean it. But I think that this is actually a good thing since Alienware properly embraced the new form factor and did not compromise trying to make an 18 inch notebook portable. Build quality leaves nothing to be desired and the hefty notebook feels insanely solid. All materials feel great to the touch, especially the soft touch material on the keyboard deck. The hinge is generally well adjusted but was a little too creaky for my liking on my sample. And you already know that I'm a little biased towards Alienware's design language, but apart from the Razer, I think this is the cleanest and most professional looking laptop in this form factor on the market. The RGB ring around the exhaust looks amazing as always and if you take this thing on a week long work assignment you can easily turn it off. That the M18 is a true and well thought through desktop replacement also becomes apparent in the I.O. department. Placement and overall selection is even able to rival Lenovo's Legion Pro offerings. On the left you can find two USB-A's of the 3.2 Gen 1 standard, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet and the audio combo jack. <laughs> On the right there's just a single USB-C, 3.2 Gen 1 and the remaining ports find their home between the large cooling vents in the back. Here Alienware made room for two USB-C Thunderbolt 4s, the third USB-A 3.2 Gen 1, HDMI 2.1, a mini display port, a full size SD card reader and the power connector of course. While it would have been nice to have the faster 3.2 Gen 2 standard for all USB ports, the sheer amount of connectivity with this one should not leave you wanting for a whole lot more. The SD card reader also offers very fast transfer rates, which will be a godsend if you have to offload footage from a camera a lot. Wireless transfers on the other hand reveal only average numbers compared to the competition, but at least we have been able to observe stable speeds throughout our testing. The M18's webcam is sporting a 2 megapixel resolution and offers a usable image with very natural colors. In the maintenance department the Chunky Gamer is doing the whole desktop replacement idea justice once more and comes with a total of 4 NVMe slots. While only 2 are of the standard 2280 variant, the remaining 2 slots only support shorter 2230 NVMe SSDs. While those are a bit more expensive than their bigger counterparts, it is still great to have the option to add a scratch drive or a separate SSD just for games or whatever else you can come up with. As someone who has to rely on external hard drives a lot, it would be a godsend to be able to have that much room to expand storage easily on a laptop. In addition to the generous SSD situation, you have access to a pair of SODEM slots and the Wi-Fi card. Alright, what's next? Right, the keyboard and touchpad. Starting with the former, this might be one of the best membrane switches I have used to date. They almost feel like a proper mechanical keyboard with a very generous amount of travel and a very clear and pronounced pressure point. The layout is also taking advantage of the bigger chassis with a full size numpad and arrow keys. So this one is easily suited for all kinds of typing shenanigans. The touchpad cannot quite deliver the same quality feel. While it works well, the clicks feel a bit spongy to be quite honest. The unit I have right here is equipped with the slower but higher res QHD panel. 
but my colleague Alan tested the 480Hz variant as well. Specs-wise, both panels are pretty much on par, apart from their respective resolution and refresh rate, of course. While I haven't seen the full HD panel myself, I think 1920 by 1200 on 18 inch is pushing what I would find acceptable in terms of resolution. But since you have the option, you can just choose what works best for you. Both panels come with very wide color gamut coverage, and the full HD variant was calibrated quite well from the factory. The QHD display, however, came with a very distinct color cast that was way too warm in general. But with our manual calibration, we have been able to bring down Delta E's for both panels below 1, making them easily suitable for professional and color critical work in visual professions. Unfortunately, Alienware does not include any pre calibrated presets, which is quite a bummer. I would have loved to see at least an sRGB profile to limit colors. Both panels are excellent for games though, we have not been able to detect any PWM and response times are very snappy. Alright folks, it is time to talk performance. Before we get to our actual benchmark results, a few words on Alienware's command center. They have completely refreshed the control software for their new 2023 gaming notebooks. And while it does look a lot cleaner, it is still not amongst the fastest pieces of software to control your power levels and fan speeds. My colleague Alan, who tested his Q a few weeks ago, also reported some bugs in general, which seem to have been patched since I did not really run into any major problems. It's just that you have to wait quite some time before you can do anything. We did our CPU testing in the fastest available performance mode, and the i9-13980HX shows what it is capable of in the large 18-inch chassis, and can even edge out other high-end gaming notebooks we have tested so far. We will show you temperatures and power levels within our noise samples later in the video. System performance as well as drive performance offers nothing to complain about as well and the M18 is well suited for all kinds of use cases. I also tried it briefly for our video production and timeline performance in Resolve 18 has been very smooth and snappy with export times to match. The mobile RTX 4090 in this one is also no slouch, and while it offers performance on par with the desktop RTX 4070 Ti, it's amongst the fastest variants of the Nvidia laptop flagship we have tested during the past few months. Synthetic benchmarks aside, the fast CPU and GPU propel the Alienware M18 to the very top of our real-world gaming benchmarks. In our combined performance rating, it is again one of the fastest laptops currently available, and even in more recent titles, you will hardly want for anything more. While you enjoy our benchmark results, please remember to check out our written review on the website. And if you like what we are doing here, please feel free to subscribe and like the video. It means a lot to us. So how does that much performance translate to fan noise? Well, as you might have guessed, if you really push the large gamer in the high performance modes, it will get very audible. Yes, we might have all wished for quieter fans given the large chassis, but given that the RTX 4090 can just chuck back up to 135 watts even in quiet mode, you can get this one to behave quite well. I would have wished for Alienware to limit power levels even more, because then I am sure that would have enabled an even quieter experience for when you do not need all the performance the powerful components are capable of. We took some noise samples for you in various loads and across different power levels, and for our measured dB values please head over to our written review. I also added a sample for the very decent speakers, so you can get an idea what to expect from those as well. A lot of you guys also asked us to include more data from our temperature testing, so there you go. 
Please keep in mind that especially these stress test results are hardly something you would come across during regular use. But yeah, the Alienware is quite the toasty companion. Alright, before we wrap things up, let's talk about battery life. While you will hardly use this one in the coffee shop around the corner or to surf the web on the couch, we still got almost 4.5 hours in our standard Wi-Fi test. Which is actually not too bad, considering that we are talking about a chunky 18-inch gaming notebook. So is the Alienware the uncompromising desktop replacement we have all been waiting for? Well, it kinda is. The M18 really embraces the new form factor and trades mobility for that extra bit of additional performance, making it one of the fastest available notebooks currently on the market. In combination with the very generous I.O. and upgrade options, it becomes an excellent system for games and work alike. On the display side of things, the panels are unfortunately only a very good average, and we would have liked to see some brighter panels, maybe a mini LED variant and actually a 4K screen with a 120 or 144Hz option would have been very nice as well. When it comes to value, the Alienware is also not placed that bad, undercutting MSI, Razer and ASUS with their respective offerings. And during writing the script, it was even on sale on the German website, coming in at just 3.5k, which is still very expensive, but quite competitive if you put it in perspective. Alright folks, this shall be it for today. Please let us know what you think about the Alienware M18 in the comments below. Check out our written review on the website and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a ton for watching, my name is Alex, you have been amazing and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.